There is no doubt that the BRI project has enormous potential. That is precisely why we see 150 countries from across the continents uh, sign up for cooperation agreements under it. As, as it is hailed by President Chinese President Xi as a modern day Silk Road uh, and a project of the 21st century, BRI has two major components. Number one, the connectivity part. The, the project, the, the this corridor project seeks to connect a host of African, Central Asian, Southeast Asian, South Asian and European countries through road, rail and sea routes and uh, corridors. No other uh, initiative uh, taken so far can match the scale of BRI when it comes to connecting the continents uh, with each other. Secondly, it is proving to be a major conduit for Chinese financing for large infrastructure development schemes, in, uh, including building of seaports, airports, highways, railway and energy projects, and so on, in countries like Pakistan that have a large, uh, that have uh, big uh, infrastructure gaps and, uh, of course, financing problems. Indeed, there have been concerns about a lack of transparency in the deal signed by China with the participating countries and uh, there are fears of increased indebtedness of poor, poorer countries which are participating in this project. There are also concerns over Chinese financing for the T energy projects under BRI. But if we read the new white paper uh, which is titled as uh, the Belt and Road Initiative, a key pillar of the global community of shared future which is published by uh, China on the eve of the third BRI forum that kicked off on Monday in Beijing. We see that uh, China has pledged to take care of these concerns from this point onwards by becoming more open and uh, greener. We, then we also have seen the pandemic, political and trade tensions with the US and the sluggish economic growth at home force China to slow down work on BRI or put it, or we can say, put it on uh, on the back burner for last few years. Mm, but I think that the, the third BRI forum is actually meant to rejuvenate the initiative with uh, a new vigor and uh, full force as it's evident from a number of new agreements and deals signed on the sidelines of the third BRI forum. So yes, uh, BRI always had and uh, still has a lot of potential for contributing to global economic prosperity and development and uh, I think uh, since it represents more uh, cooperation and economic cooperation between the global south, between the countries that form the so-called global south i think it is uh, um, and very much uh, in the interest of uh, uh, poorer and uh, middle income or low income uh, countries to be part of this initiative bri will not be equally beneficial to all the participating countries some countries like pakistan stand to gain more than the others because of multiple reasons, especially because of uh, the geography. Uh, I wouldn't say that uh, CPAC, which is uh, uh, which we call as the flagship project of the BRI initiative, uh, is a missed opportunity for Pakistan. But yes, the pace of progress on bilateral cooperation between Pakistan and China under the CPEC or BRI in the areas of industrial and agricultural sector uh, has been painfully slow. This cooperation is crucial for Pakistan to increase its industrial and agricultural productivity, cure new technology from China and uh, other sources, boost uh, its uh, exports both industrial 
merchandise and uh, agriculture exports and so on uh, this is important for pakistan to overcome its balance of uh, payment the perpetual balance of payment troubles and uh, also pay back its uh, foreign loans i think the burden for this delay on uh, in full realization of the cpac potential uh, lies rests with uh, pakistan because um, we haven't been able in all these years to create uh, the infrastructure for uh, the infrastructure and uh, will develop uh, policies uh, that would attract chinese investors to relocate their manufacturing facilities here or invest in agriculture uh, in pakistan if we look at uh, the progress made so far we will see that pakistan has remained too much focused on the completion of uh, energy projects and highways under the early harvest phase of cpac which is why we uh, i mean uh, we didn't uh, uh give much attention to to the development of uh, in, uh, industrial infrastructure or industrial estates that we had uh, agreed to uh, set up with, uh, under the cpac then uh, the security of chinese workers in pakistan has also been a major concern for beijing uh, and uh, we see china slow down work at uh, certain points in time because of uh, these concerns so so with the third uh, bri forum ongoing in beijing we can only hope that these and other issues will be taken care of once china pushes ahead with its plans to re-energize bri in the near future and uh, definitely i mean we we are watching i mean uh, certain developments uh, uh, between china and pakistan on uh, uh, various projects like uh, the major uh, multi billion project uh, mainline one railway project that will connect karachi with peshawar so we can only hope that uh, in the coming years we are able to realize the full potential uh, full economic potential of uh, uh, cpac for our record